we're going to do a forward and backward kind of thing with linear equations. And we've already done this first piece, just, but just in review. If you have an equation in slope-intercept slope intercept form, like this one, you are able to tell me that the slope of that line is the coefficient of the x term, in this case the negative 2, and the y-intercept for this equation, always the x value is 0, because that's a point on the y-axis, and this value is the y-value in that ordered pair. So, given a, an equation in slope-intercept form, you can tell me the slope and you can tell me the y-intercept. And again, another reminder, if it's not in that form, get it in that form if you want to know the slope and you want to know the y-intercept. So your goal is to always get y alone. So rearrange this equation for y. I'm going to subtract 7. I'm going to put this kind of off to the left here because they're not like terms from both sides of the equation. So over here I have a 4x minus a 7. Please now write it horizontally equals the 9y. You're trying to get y alone. So we'll divide both sides by 9, the coefficient of y. So divide this by 9 and divide this by 9. Let's write this down one more time. So we have y equals 4 ninths x minus 7 ninths. This is in slope-intercept form. And you would say to me that the slope of this line is a positive 4 over a positive 9. That's its change in y over change in x. And its y-intercept is 0, comma. You give me the negative sign. 7 ninths. The negative sign can be with the numerator, it can be with the denominator, it can be in front, and, and you're all done. So again, I want to be able to find the slope and find the y-intercept at any given time, because in our next uh, segment, um, we're going to be able to graph something in slope-intercept form just quicker than anything. Um, the last piece for this little clip here, though, is if I give you the slope, if I give you the slope of a line, so let's say that I tell you the slope, which is m, don't forget, is 4, and I tell you that the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 3, then you should be able to put that in for m and for b in this statement, y equals mx plus b, and tell me that the equation that has this slope would be y equals 4x, and this y-intercept would be a minus 3, and you've, write in, you've written an equation with that piece of data. If I said to you the slope was, oh, let's go with a negative 3 fourths, and the y-intercept was 0, comma, 2, you would tell me that the equation in slope-intercept form is a negative 3 fourths x plus that value of 2 for the y-intercept.